In this example, we're going to find the average rate of change from a table of values. So the height of a soccer ball is measured after the time it is kicked, and these are the observations of that kick here in this table. What is the average rate of change between one and three seconds? All right, so we have the time, which is measured in seconds here in this uh, column, and the height, which is measured in meters in this column. So the height, obviously, is dependent on the time. So the height is the dependent variable, and the time is the independent variable, as time usually is. So what is the average rate of change between one and three seconds? So between one and three seconds. So let's take those two coordinates and write them out. So at one second, the height of the soccer ball is six meters. And then at three seconds, the height of the soccer ball is nine meters. So we have these two points, and as we mentioned in the video before, the average rate of change is the change in the, in de uh, the dependent variable, so delta y, let's actually put delta h in this, uh, in this example, because the height is the dependent variable, over the change in the independent variable, which is the time which would be h2 minus h1 over t2 minus t1. So this here, let's say, is uh, t1 and h1. This is the second time and the second height. So we would have 9 minus 6, which is the change in the dependent variable, the change in the height, over the change in the time, which would be 3 minus 1. So this, let's uh, continue it up here. 9 minus 6 is 3, and then 3 minus 1 is 2. So this ends up being 1.5. Now, what would be the units uh, that the average rate of change is in? Well, it's 1.5 meters, which is the units that the dependent variable is measured in, per second per one unit change in the independent variable, which is time, which is seconds. So don't forget these uh, units of uh, measurement for the average rate of change when you're dealing with an actual scenario. It's always an amount, a certain amount of the dependent variable, which is meters in this case, per one unit change in the independent variable, which is seconds in this case.